Power transmitted by the shaft. Consider a rotating shaft in which transmits power from one of its ends to another. Let n equal to speed of the shaft in rpm. T equal to average torque in kilonewton meter. Work done per minute equal to force into distance. Here the work done by the shaft is per minute is force into distance moved. So what is the work done by a shaft that is that is torque and distance moved is 2 pi n 2 pi n. So finally 2 pi nt is the work done per minute. Then work done by second second is divided by 60. So here 2 pi nt by 60 a unit is kilo newton meter. Power trans so power transmitted equal to work done per second p equal to power transmitted by p equal to 2 pi nt divided by 60 kilowatt. Polar modulus. Ratio between the polar moment of inertia of crash sectional of the shaft and maximum radius of the section that is called polar modulus. What is mean by polar modulus? Ratio between the moment polar moment of inertia to the maximum radius of the section. It is an important parameter used in the design of the shaft. Very important for design of the shaft. So here consider z equal to polar modulus that is equal to polar moment of inertia divided by maximum radius. So what is mean by polar moment of inertia j and the maximum radius is r for a solid circular shaft our polar moment of inertia j equal to pi by, two, pi by 32 into d power 4 here the radius is d by 2. So formula of as per this z equal to j by r pi by 32 into d power 4 divided by d by 2 finally we got 5d cube divided by 16 for solid circular soft so polar modulus for solid circular soft is 5d cube divided by 16 in case of hollow circular soft j equal to pi by 32 d1 power minus d1 power 4 minus d2 power 4 here the ray r1 equal to d1 by 2 so cases differ So uh, z equal to polar modulus j divided by r1 that is equal to pi by 32 into d1 power 4 minus d2 power 4 divided by d1 by d2. Finally we got pi by 16 pi, pi divided by 16 into d1 into d1, d1 power 4 minus d2 power 4. This is the case of hollow circular softs. Stress distribution in the soft under pure torsion under pure transfer now you see the solid shaft and hollow shaft so here the stress is zero at center and at surface is maximum uh, searing stress fs fs is uh, zero at center and uh, at the surfaces it will be maximum under pure torsion under pure torsion but in the case of hollow shaft it's gradually increasing from inner to outer surface only inner surface to outer surface only the maximum is outer surface here here fs is the shear stress proportional to its distance from center so distance from proportional to distance from its center shear intensity is zero at the axis of the shaft shear intensity is zero at the axis of the shaft and increases linearly to maximum of fs at the surface and in from zero and maximum at the surfaces but in case of sectional area of fs at any point on circumference in the hollow shaft is more or less uniform throughout the section more or less uniform throughout the section